Hey, Daniel here, and I really, really don't want to die. I most definitely prefer being alive to not existing. Since I've had lots of edgelords under my previous videos, here's my argument against death. My well, my moral system is based on the well-being of conscious beings, and there is no well-being in death. No matter how shit your life is, there's always at least a small chance of improvement. But once you're dead, nothing is possible. Death is cringe, and glorifying death, for example, by saying, oh, it gives meaning to life, makes you a fucking cringe lord. For a thorough and professional take on that topic, I recommend watching Why Die by CGP Grey. So yeah, since I dislike death so much, naturally I'm a big fan of immortality be it biological immortality or any other kind, really. You could call me a transhumanist, since immortality has been one of the major goals for transhumanism forever. But how do we achieve immortality? The answer is simple. We would have to start by eradicating by far the most complex and the most common genetic disease, aging. And I know, you're probably thinking, Daniel, how the fuck is aging a disease? And that's a normal response, trust me. But actually, if we take a look at the definition of the word disease on, for example, Merriam-Webster dictionary, it says this, a condition of the living animal or plant body or one of its parts that impairs normal functioning and is typically manifested by distinguishing signs and symptoms. Sign, signs. Aging definitely impairs normal functioning and it is for sure manifested by a number of symptoms. So it 100% fits the definition. Some definitions include the word abnormal, so you could say it doesn't fully fit in those cases, but it's only because death and aging have been heavily normalized in our society. It's almost like we have developed a Stockholm Syndrome. Blah, blah. If everyone gets afflicted with it, it doesn't mean it's not a disease. For a thorough and professional take on this topic, I recommend watching Why Age Should We End Aging Forever by Kurzgesagt. So, okay, for those of us who want to live more than our imperfect human shells allow for, what do we even do? Well, this, my friend, is where we start to engage in immortality politics, TMCR. Whenever you look at any given political idea or candidate or ideology, you have to ask yourself, will it help me achieve immortality? or at least extend my life until we are advanced enough to make humanity immortal. For example, let's look at some popular issues. Climate change. If you are a sane person and believe human caused and believe that human caused climate change is at least very likely to be happening. The issue is very simple. Chances are climate change will fucking kill all of us or at least will make our lives extremely challenging and resources scarce well before we manage to defeat aging and other diseases. Basically, climate change is a giant obstacle on our path towards not dying. We have no other choice but to try and stop it by any means necessary. Yes, billionaires will have to lose some money and many people will lose their jobs, but to me, human lives are much more valuable than the profits of fossil fuel tycoons. And unemployment can be fixed by creating jobs in the alternative energy and by some redistributive policies. Another issue, subsidized education, aka free college. What will make us immortal? Science. And as we know, science runs on brain juice, which is produced by scientists. But to have enough brain juice producing scientists toil away at centrifuges and shit, we need two things. Educated people and funding. In the current state of American society, many potential geniuses are dying without reaching even a fraction of their potential and contributing to science. This is unacceptable. What do we do to solve this? We start funding education and social programs to take the potential genius scientists off the streets eating cardboard and into the labs. Labs have to be funded too, by the way. So where do we get all this motherfucking money, Daniel? True. That would require some money. You know where you can find lots of money in America? Bloated offense budget and billionaire offshore accounts. Think about it. By waging endless wars, 
Do you make immortality closer? No, you are actually pushing it away because you kill potential brain juice producers all around the globe and you make other nations divert funds from science towards pretending to be strong. Easy cut right there. And actually, before you do it, tax the living fuck out of dipshits who are doing nothing but stockpiling yachts and trying to crash spaceships into Mars and fucking die. If they're too stupid to use their money to at least ensure their own longevity, we can do it for them. So yeah, this is how you apply immortality politics. It's not partisan, you simply use it to ensure a better future for yourself, because you are a protagonist of your own story, and it would be a shame if it ended prematurely. Thank you for watching, if you want to support the channel, you know what to do. See you later!